Juris Vodcast with Scott Pierce. Today we consider medical marijuana and employment law. We examine the recent California Supreme Court case of Ross v. Raging Wire Telecommunications. California has enacted a medical marijuana law that decriminalizes the possession and use of the drug with a doctor's prescription. It is called the Compassionate Use Act. California also has an anti-discrimination law, the California Fair Employment and Housing Act. Disabled people are protected by this law. The plaintiff is a disabled veteran named Gary Ross. He suffers from back pain and spasms as a result of an injury he suffered while serving in the U.S. Air Force. This qualifies him as disabled for purposes of the Fair Employment and Housing Act. His doctor has recommended that Mr. Ross use marijuana to treat his symptoms. The Compassionate Use Act allows Mr. Ross to do so without fear of state criminal sanctions. The defendant is a corporation. Defendant hired plaintiff to be a lead systems analyst. Mr. Ross disclosed his medical marijuana use at the time he was hired. He took a standard drug test and began work. The test came back positive for marijuana. Mr. Ross was fired. One interesting fact about this case that hasn't made it into the news is that the Board of Directors met to discuss Mr. Ross's situation. The Fair Employment and Housing Act provides that it is illegal for an employer to refuse to hire or to fire a person for a medical condition or a disability so long as they can perform their essential duties with reasonable accommodations. The plaintiff sued the defendant for employment discrimination based on this statute. The California Supreme Court held that the Compassionate Use Act was designed to shield medical marijuana users from criminal prosecution, not from employment discrimination. Plus, marijuana possession and use remain illegal under federal law. Justice Kennard wrote a partial dissent in which he criticized the majority for not being compassionate enough. He's got a point. Look at what the majority opinion does. It holds that employers may fire an employee for medical marijuana use, even when it occurs during off-duty hours, even when it does not affect the employee's job performance or impair the employer's business, and even when it provides the only effective relief for the employee's chronic pain and muscle spasms. Personally, I have never understood law enforcement's obsession with marijuana use. I agree with Justice Kennard. Justice and compassion are on the side of Mr. Ross, the plaintiff. Too bad the California Supreme Court has come down on the side of arbitrary authority. For Juris Vodcast, this is Scott Pierce. Thanks for your attention. Juris Vodcast is a production of Nuclear Podcasting. Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives.